to my colleague Sunil Ji Bhatt, who's getting us more details on that story as well. Uh, Sunil, in fact, we were just having a word with a couple of Kashmiri pundits who've been talking about the fact that they've been talking about this for the <coughs> longest time. They want to be moved from the trouble areas from the problem areas in Kashmir, and for the time being, be moved to Jammu, and that they've tried approaching the authorities and the administration as well, but to no avail. Well, Sreha, another tragic, you know, incident has taken place. Terrorists have once again targeted the minuscule minority of Kashmir, that is Kashmiri Pandits. 32 years may have passed since, you know, the ethnic cleansing of the Kashmiri Pandits that took place in 1990. But things remain the same for this community in the valley. And this, uh, you know, this Kashmiri Pandit who has been assassinated today by the terrorists, his family did not... Uh, flee the valley in 1990. They stayed back, but now even these Kashmiri pundits are also being targeted. So you can understand that uh, the, that this you know terror attack has sent shock waves uh, across the uh, country, particularly among the Kashmiri pundits. So the, what Kashmiri pundits have been saying time and again that they are not safe in the valley. This terror attack has once again you know uh, proven that that uh, the minuscule minority of Kashmir Kashmiri pundits is not safe. They are being targeted by the terrorists sponsored by Pakistan. And the government, uh, you know, may have taken some uh, steps to improve the security of the Kashmiri Pandits who are staying in the valley. But the fact of the matter is that the terrorists are carrying out these killings uh, with impunity. And it shows that the ground situation in the valley has not changed for the Kashmiri Pandits. Things may have changed. Law and order situation may have improved since the abrogation of Article 370. But as far as the Kashmiri Pandits is concerned, their survival is still a distant dream in the Kashmir Valley. They are being targeted, you know, time and again. And today also, a uh, Kashmiri Pandit was killed, shot dead in his orchard, and his brother got seriously injured. Uh, the Kashmiri Pandit groups across the country are very angry. Uh, they are demanding answers from the government that what happened to those tall claims. The government said that they have you know, increase the security of the Kashmiri Pandits, but uh, the terrorists are still carrying out such attacks and uh, the innocent people are losing their lives. So it's something which the government now, uh, you know, needs to look into. And one of the Kashmiri Pandits, uh, who, you know, you, who you spoke to a short while ago said that it is also the responsibility of the majority community in the valley to, you know, infuse trust and uh, to be with their, you know, brethren there. But the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, the radical uh, Islamic, um, you know, thoughts are still there. And uh, Pakistan is also playing a role in that. So the government is facing a big challenge, you know, to combat terrorism and to also combat uh, the radicalization that has taken place in the valley. Be with us. I'll just come back to you for more on that. In fact, the brother of the victim has spoken out. Listen in. जब हमारा वादा हुआ मेरे भाई के साथ मैं चार बार ड्यूपम के पास गया डीसी के पास गया उन्होंने एक बार ये हमारी नींद सुना बोला अपने गांव में बैठो उधरी मारो उधरी करो अपना काम इसलिए आज हमें ये देखना पड़ा पहले उनको लाओ इनको यहां से दफा करो गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम सर्विस और डीसी और ड्यूपम साहब को उन्होंने कुछ नहीं उनको बोला यहां हर जगह सीआरपी डाली हर जगह पुलिस डाला यहां क्या दिया हमें कौन सी सिक्योरिटी है यही सिक्योरिटी रखी हमें यहां Remember, this is a spate of targeted killings that the valley has been witnessing for days together. This is the image of the brothers, of the victim of the brother, uh, who also has received injuries. On the 12th of August, a laborer from Bihar was also killed, shot dead in Bandipura. So the targeted killings of minorities and non-locals continues. On the 4th of August, 2022, again early this year, a laborer was killed in Pulwama, again from Bihar. 2nd of June, a laborer again from Bihar was killed in Badgam. On the 2nd of June, a bank manager from Rajasthan was shot dead in Kulgam in the valley. In fact, these are targeted killings that we are seeing of several people in this region. On the 12th of May, uh, again there was the killing of Rahul Bhatt. April 13th, in Kulgam, Satish Kumar Singh was killed in the valley. On the 17th of October, in Badgam, Arvind Kumar Saw was killed. This was last year. Targeted killings on the 7th of October 2021, when in Srinagar, Supinder Kaur and Deepak Chand were also killed by terrorists. 
On the 5th of October, in Srinagar, Makan Lal Bindu was shot down by terrorists as well. Again on the 5th of October, Virendra Paswan was killed in Srinagar. In the month of June, in 2020, in Anantanag, there was a targeted killing of Ajay Pandita Bharti. June 2021, in Pulwama, Rakesh Pandita was gunned down by terrorists. Targeted killings of Kashmiri pundits and locals, non-locals, I beg your pardon, many of them laborers who come from different parts of the country to work in Jammu and Kashmir, being continuously targeted by Pakistan-sponsored terrorists. Sunil Jibat continues to be with us. For more details on that, any word just yet from the administration, given that the spate of targeted killings, Sunil Ji, has only increased Many of them have been saying, and at least for the time being, move us to safer areas. Uh, well, Sneha, a short while ago, Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor has tweeted and he has condemned this terror attack that took place in South Kashmir, Shopian district, and he has also expressed his uh, sympathies uh, with the bereaved family. Uh, but the, the point is that, you know, how long the minuscule minority of Kashmir, that is Kashmiri Pandits, will suffer like this? Uh, 32 years ago, uh, you know, ethnic cleansing of the community took place. You know, terrorists targeted them. There were so many killings. Uh, brutal killings took place in the early 90s. Now, you know, um, in uh, 2010, uh, the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, came up with this special employment policy for the displaced Kashmiri pundits. But again, a draconian term was said that they need to only serve in the valley and they, will, they can't seek any transfer. Uh, so... Now we are witnessing that those, you know, employees who were, uh, you know, working in the valley, serving in the valley, they were targeted. Now today a Kashmiri Pandit has been targeted who did not flee the valley, you know, in 1990. He stayed back. So even he is being targeted. So it has, you know, some sort of, you know, created fear psychosis among the Kashmiri Pandit community now, particularly among the employees who are serving there. And even those, you know, who did not flee the valley, there were a handful of Kashmiri Pandits who did not flee the valley in 1990. They stayed back. But even now, those Kashmiri Pandits are also being targeted. So the Kashmiri Pandits have been saying it time and again that uh, they want, a, you know, a commission of inquiry to be constituted so that um, the people who are behind their gruesome killings, the terrorists who carried out their killings uh, can be brought to justice. But still, uh, the Commission of Inquiry has not been constituted. The Kashmiri Pandit community had also demanded that they should be given an uh, internally displaced person status. That is also pending. So their issues uh, are pending before the government. That is point number one. But point number two, which is very important, is that, that um, you know, terrorists continue to um, target the Kashmiri Pandits with impunity. And they are sending out a very clear message, which is loud and clear that, uh, that the presence of Kashmiri Pandits in the valley is like an eyesore for them. They don't want them to stay there. They don't want their presence there. So this is becoming clear. Uh, you know, every time such incident takes place, every time the Kashmiri Pandits are targeted, that the terrorists don't want their presence in the valley. So the government on its part uh, says that they have, you know, increased security in and around uh, the places where the members of the minority community live. But uh, again, you know, such, if such killings are taking place, it exposes those tall claims of the government as well. Yeah, back to you.